So now that you understand the information, let's let's proceed. So the latitude, to, by means of how far north or south you are, is zero degrees right at the equator. So the central ring, if you draw a central ring around the planet, that is the equator, and the equator is exactly at zero degrees latitude, right? Zero degrees latitude. Then there's two other uh, latitudes that are relatively important as well, which are 23 degrees positive or 23 degrees negative. And they are the tropics, the tropics of Cancer or the tropic of Capricorn. So when you are in between these two latitudes, plus 23 or minus 23, you are in the tropics. And the equator of zero degrees is also inside of the tropics. Okay, that was a fairly long introduction, but I want to make sure that you really understand this basic knowledge and the numbers before I could proceed and explain you other things. So you understand longitude, latitude, how the, the grid, how the coordination works around the world, and you understand what the equator is. So let's start from the equator. If you are right at the equator, you live right at the equator and the sun is happily shining, if you would place your photovoltaic module flush with the ground, so parallel to ground level, then you are pointing it straight at the sun. That makes sense, right? The sun beams are approaching the earth, you're straight at the equator, and the solar power is hitting the, uh, the panel directly on the panel, right? You're absorbing as much power from the sun as possible. But very few of you will actually be living right on the equator. So what happens if you'll be living on the northern hemisphere, right? You're living somewhere in the northern hemisphere. So your, your coordinates have a positive latitude. And you are placing, if you would place your photovoltaic module straight on ground level, just flush with the ground, or you have a flat roof and you place it flat on the roof, then the, the solar angles are not optimally uh, positioned towards your panel, right? Because they are not hitting the panel straight on. So what you'd have to do is you'd have to tilt your panel a certain amount of degrees in order to capture most of the solar power available because you want to make sure that your solar power is hitting your panel straight on like that. All right, let him shut up for a second. I just want to explain to you that the content of this video is copied from the complete course of energy systems. If this information is enough for you, great. If you want to learn more and if you want to get access to the complete course, then check the information in the description below. All right, you go out again. Of course, it makes sense that if you are on the southern hemisphere, you also need to tilt your panel in order to get the best uh, solar yield from your module, um, but you just need to tilt it the other way. Right. So now we get to the real material that I want to discuss, which is about the solar angle. So uh, to simplify it, if you are located right on the equator at zero degrees latitude and you want to install your solar module perpendicular to the sun in order to capture the most sun power available, you would install your solar module at a solar angle of zero degrees, zero degrees solar angle. Then compare that to a situation whereby you would be located somewhere on the northern hemisphere, right? The further north you are, uh, the higher your latitude, right? So if you're pretty close to the equator, it's 25. If you're further up, it's 50. If you're further up, it's 75, etc. So the further up north you are, the higher your latitude number is. So let's assume you are exactly at 50 degrees latitude, so 50 degrees north. If you would want to make sure that your panel, instead of this, that your panel is perpendicular to the sun rays, you would have to install your solar module under an angle of 50 degrees. So a solar angle, the optimum solar angle is identical to that of your latitude. Now, I hope you're paying attention and that you're being critical and that you're thinking something like, all right, Jesse, I get it. The optimum solar angle tilt is identical to your latitude, I get it. But what about the seasons, right? Because during the seasons, the sun uh, can be higher or lower up in the sky. So good question, let me explain it. So the situation that I just explained, whereby the world, whereby the axis of the, the planet is perpendicular to the sun, only occurs during the absolute equinoxes. So during one time of the year during the spring and one time during the fall. So during these times, if you would place the your solar angle, if you would place your solar module under an angle identical to that of your latitude, then your panel would be perpendicular to the sun rays. 
The situation is quite different during what people on the northern hemisphere refer to as the summer, right? So during the summer, the relative angle of the of the planet towards the sun is different. So during what we call the summer on the northern hemisphere, the earth is tilting a little bit more towards the sun, right? And then during the, the fall, the, um, the axis of the planet is directly perpendicular to the sun again. And during the winter, the planet is... You could say it's tilting the other way, uh, back away from the sun. So this is the main reason why we encounter uh, seasons when you're living on the northern or the southern hemisphere. Now, a number which I think is important for you to remember is the the amount of degrees, the, the extent to which the axis of our planet varies over the seasons compared to the, the sun, right? So during the winter, during one moment of the winter, the most extreme tilt angle of the planet towards the sun is 23 degrees. So that's 23 degrees one way, right? So this is the zero degrees and then there's 23 degrees the other way. And then during the, the summertime, the planet tilts all the way to the other side and then it's 23 degrees the other way. Right, so during one season, the most extreme variation, uh, one way is 23 degrees, and then during the other season, the most extreme variation is minus 23 degrees. So this is a fairly simplified explanation of what's happening, but I just want to explain it as simple as I can so it's easier to remember, right? So during the summer, the axis of the world is tilting minus 23 degrees, so this is for you if you're living on the northern hemisphere. So summer is minus 23 during the fall at zero degrees, during the winter it's plus 23, during the spring it's zero degrees, and then during the summer it's minus 23 degrees again. So now that you have a basic understanding of what longitude is, what latitude is, what happens during the season, what happens to your relative angle towards the sun, and how you could orientate your panel in an optimum position, in a perpendicular position towards the sun, now that you understand this, Let's see how you can actually find the raw data, how you can figure out what the longitude and latitude is for your particular location, for the, for the position where you are on the world, so that you can use the, both these two values in order to decide what kind of an optimum angle would be good for your situation.